Okay, people. So I was recently sent a screen for a new film called Bezos, right? Now, you might think, what's Bezos? Is it a science fiction film? No, it's a film about Jeff Bezos, right? The founder of Amazon. Uh, the film is directed by Kua Lee. It is written by uh, Alison Burnett and R.V. Romero. It's based on a book from Tashina Ebanks called Zero to Hero. The film is produced by... Alberto De La Cruz, Armando Gutierrez, and Niha One. It's executive produced by Tracy De La Torre, Omar Soliman, Peter A. Less, Christina Juanas, Nick Friedman, Emilio Estefan Jr., Tracy Della, Trace Della Torre, um, Richard Booth, and Corey Apton. Music is handled by Colin Bell, Tana Tad Prokativiv. Hmm, I think I butchered that last surname. Uh, they handled the cinematography. Uh, Colleen Halsey, Richard Halsey, and Joe Rivkin edited the film. Ed Arenas took care of casting. George Goodridge, production design. Set decoration was Mark Dane. Um, and Carol Lopez handled costume design. Uh, Francis Suarez, Angela Fisher, and Susanna Beatoncourt took care of makeup and our cast. Well, Armando Gutierrez was Jeff Bezos. Um, Alex Mitchell played Mackenzie Bezos, his wife. Right, Emilio Estefan Jr. played his dad, Miguel. Um, we had Elena Quen as Molly Jean Andrews. D.E. Shaw played Marcus Leminos. Uh, Nick Friedman played Shell Cap Cap Caphan. Uh, Javon White played Nicholas Lovejoy. Sasha Ann Drev played Paul Davis. Jacqueline Giss is played by Anne Hernbridge. Uh, George Masterval played George. Right. Sean Woofington plays an executive. Um, Gail Byer played Jeff's grandma. Um, Buzz Fleischman played his uh granddad. Um, Stuart Marshall plays Charles Allen Morrow. Uh, Josh Willis plays a young. Jeff Bezos, right? Uh, doo -doo -doo. I believe, um, yeah, I, I think Kevin Sorbo plays uh, the CEO of Barnes and Noble, whose name I have completely forgotten. But uh, yes. I think that's it. So the gist is this. It follows Jeff Bezos, then 
a 31-year-old hedge fund manager who quits his job. With the support of his wife and borrowed money from his father, he moves across the country to launch his dream of creating the world's largest online bookstore. From his dilapidated garage, he and two hardworking techies struggle to find investors and find themselves challenged by the burgeoning internet and CEO of the largest bookstore, Barnes and Noble. All right, so, um, yeah. Now, <laughs> there's one thing, right? So, in the press back, there's a quote from Marcus Lemonos, right, um, who I believe works for Vision Films, the, the company distributing this. All right, he says, this is the never-before-told story on screen of how Jeff Bezos and Amazon got its start and its founder's relentless pursuit of excellence. As a lifelong investor and entrepreneur, I can identify with Bezos' journey and relentless pursuit of excellence to revolutionize commerce. And we look forward to sharing this movie with audiences worldwide. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you really want to, uh, you know, be <laughs> saying you, because Bezos is an asshole, <laughs> right? He, he doesn't necessarily come across as one of the nicest people. There are definitely moments in this film where you're like, that's not good, right? It's an interesting one, right? Because we get to see the beginning, right? The genesis of this journey, which is fascinating, right? Because you always wonder, how did this get started? How did they go about doing that thing? So that's always, yeah, fascinating. And you wonder how much of this is true, right? So it's, you know, as mentioned, it's based on a book, right? Zero to Hero, which, I mean, I don't know if you, you could really say Zero to Hero, because at the time, right, he's the youngest ever VP, uh, um, Crown and Shaw, I believe it was, the, the, the name of the uh, investment firm that he worked at, right? Making a big chunk of change. So I don't know if you really would call that a zero, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but with that, you then wonder, okay, so it's based on this book. How much... Um, access did ebanks have right what is her ability to tell this story right did she sit down with bezos um you know did she sit down with mckenzie with the rest of the people involved in those early days right that i think that's one of the big things because it's just like how much is true how much is speculation right because I think that has a big impact on what we actually see, right? And the perception of what we actually see. You know, there's, I think the story itself, the way it's all the way it's all laid out, right, and brought to us, yeah, that it it works. Now, there are plenty of gaps and. You know, like, wait, how did we get to this, right? And how did we get to that point? I think it's, it's, it's a bit when they're moving, they don't have a place to move to, right? So we just hear them go, oh, yeah, yeah the, the moving trucks are all packed. We've got to give them our address in a day's time. 
And I've never heard of that, right? Every time I've moved, it's been like, okay, this is where we're moving to, right? This is when we need it happening by. So that's all, you know? And I think the 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 way certain things were chosen, like the place to move to, right? There's not really, it just seemed like, uh, I think that will do. Right now, he does it because there's ports and all of that kind of thing, but why that over other places, right? And you know, you got your wife to quit a job, so surely you make a decision with her. <laughs> you know what I mean? That like some of these things, it would be it would have been interesting to understand how that happened and understand how she was happy to let that happen right because we do see an argument but it's just like there's other things that you could have thought mm, i'd be a bit pissed about this right also it's the decision to quit the jobs why not keep the jobs at the beginning right because you're bringing in some money at least you know so the it would be interesting to explore these elements of it you know, um, I think Gutierrez and Mitchell do, uh, you know, a good job with, ba the, you know, the Mackenzie and Jeff characters. I will say there, there was some, some of the acting isn't necessarily the best, right? Not terrible, but not as sharp, right? And I think there are places where the script could give us more, right? Like the, the decision on the name and just all of this kind of thing. But, you know, it, it's pretty solid. I hated the score. I hated the score. And not necessarily the music, but just the placement of the music. You know what I mean? Being like, oh, this is a momentous occasion. And you've got the music at the background. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And just things like that. And it's just like, oh, it's too much. Too much. Why do we need this? Like, come on, man. The viewer isn't an idiot. You know what I mean? But... Yeah, I think mean, that's probably my biggest complaint about it. Just tone the fucking music down. You know what I mean? We don't need it. Also, I do think that certain moments could have done with a bit more insight, a bit more fleshing out. You know, like there's a bit towards the end where there's a, a conversation about founder status and all of that. And it just kind of is, well, this is it. And then it's left. And it's just like, I kind of feel that that character would have had more to say. Right. Because surely after that conversation, there's issues here, but we don't get anything else. Right, so it would be interesting to get more of that kind of thing. But as an initial, uh, like, introduction, you know, an insight, an entry-level gaze at what created this, right? What led to Bezos setting up Amazon, yeah, I think it does a solid job. Does a solid job. As I say, look, we need to know what's true and what isn't. But, you know, this will give you the groundwork. And then you can look and, and see what you believe and what you don't. You know what I mean? But yeah, Bezos is out on all your popular VODs. So, you know, if you are interested in um, Amazon, 
and Jeff Bezos. This could well be the flick for you people. It very well could be. I don't think it's necessarily um, as tight as, you know, is it Jobs? I think Jobs is the the Fincher Steve Jobs biography, right? I don't think it's as sharp as that, but it's interesting. So there you go. Bezos.